this is Vivica Von Rosen and I just wanted to introduce you to the Sales Navigator app. If you've recently upgraded to Sales Navigator because of the limitations with the new user interface, um, you'll probably want to download this app as well. Now, unlike the LinkedIn app, which is very similar to the new user interface and, and really has about 90% of the functionality, Sales Nav app should probably be called Sales Nav Lite. Um, <laughs> so when you when you sign on, it it, it turns you on to the the home screen. Um, one of the main things that I've noticed is you can't actually comment or share articles from this home screen. You can like them, and and that's all well and good, but it doesn't do liking an article doesn't really do a lot to uh, build a relationship with the person who posted the article. Um, in some cases, you have the opportunity of uh, sending a message. That's when someone has changed a job um, or has a, you know, has, has a new position. Um, you can send them a message, but again, the ability to send just anyone a message easily from the timeline is not um, available on the Sales Navigator um, phone app. Um, of course, you can always go to the person's profile just by clicking on their name. And then from their profile, you can do, you know, invite them to connect, send an in mail, add tags, add notes, um, look at their summary, uh, review their profile, as well as um, unsave them if you go, ah, I shouldn't have saved them as a lead. So you can do all of that, but really the timeline is very, very limited, I think, in um, Sales Navigator. Um, speaking of, uh, if you want to see your leads, you can do so by typing in the name of the company or the name of the lead. Um, so I can find that lead uh, just by clicking in the search and then going back between leads and accounts. Um, but again, it's very, very limited. This does not have all the functionality, obviously, of the search box in Sales Navigator. Now what you can do is click on discover and LinkedIn is going to tell you um, who of, or according to the searches that you've done, um, who might be a good lead for you. Ironically, um, I don't know why there's a timer on it. I mean, that just is weird to me. So you can click on that, see if someone uh, would be a good, um, lead for you. I work with the guys over at Workfront, so I'm just going to go ahead and save Steve as a lead. And then it's going to uh, bring me over to the next person. I've been looking at the Denver Chamber. So that makes, that's a good person. I don't know what Globavir Biosciences are. I think he's probably showing up because of some searches that I was doing with a client. Uh, similar with accounts, I can look at accounts and um, see if they uh, make sense to me. The other thing that you can do, of course, is go to your existing saved leads and from your saved leads you can see um, who's changed jobs who's been mentioned in the news who's posted on linkedin um, who's sharing experiences with you and even leads that follow your company page which is really cool because that gives you an opportunity to reach out and engage with them uh, you can sort by additional filters if you want to um, and you can do the same thing of course with accounts too so you can see who's had changes, um, well, that's basically all you can do. It's not quite as easy to use as Sales Navigator's lead builder, but it, it's kind of handy if you're on the fly and you're looking for some leads. And then you can click on Messages, which brings you to your inbox, um, which, you know, you can see your received in-mails, your archived um, in-mails, and your sent in-mails and messages. And, of course, you can create a new message as well. Um, so... Functionality, not fabulous functionality, but some functionality. It's absolutely worth downloading just so you can use it in those between times um, when you're not at your computer. But in most cases, I would say the Sales Navigator tool is much easier and much more functional than the Sales Navigator app. So there you go. This is Vivica Von Rosen with LinkedIn2Business.com.